Most people know that cars come with two basic transmission types, manual and automatic. In manual, the driver needs to change gears by depressing a clutch pedal and using a stick shift. In automatics, the transmission will change gears for you automatically, based on driving conditions, meaning you never have to think about which gear to use. But there's also something in between that offers the best of both worlds, known as the dual clutch transmission. So today, in this video, we are taking a look at these different car transmission types. Starting with the dual clutch transmission, DCT. A dual clutch transmission closely resembles a manual transmission, but uses two clutches to synchronize gear changes instead of one. Each clutch operates a different set of gears. One controls the even numbered gears while the other controls the odd-numbered gears. The clutches share the same space, but are actually two separate control shafts one inside of the other. In this, the both clutches are actively engaged with gears at all times. As the vehicle accelerates, the transmission can seamlessly shift to the next gear by disengaging one clutch and engaging the other. This process provides quick and smooth gear changes without the need for a noticeable interruption in power delivery. The idea is to pre-select the next gear using one clutch, while the other clutch is currently engaged, allowing for quick transitions between gears. Gear changes are sequential, which means in numerical order, up and down. However, a DCT can progress through its full range of gears, quickly, because of the dual-clutch gear pre-selection process. Beyond automatic operation, a modern DCT can also operate as a clutch-less manual, that means, the driver can select the next gear manually, using levers or paddle shifters on the steering wheel. The driver does not need to use a clutch pedal or actuate a clutch in any way. The first dual-clutch transmission to reach production was the Easy Drive Automatic Transmission, introduced on the Hillman Minx midsize car in 1961. The 2003 Volkswagen Golf R32 was one of the early production cars to feature a direct shift gearbox, which is also known as dual clutch transmission. Since the late 2000s, DCTs have become increasingly widespread. Automakers like Audi and Volkswagen began using DCTs in their performance models in the mid 2000s. More generally, a transmission with several clutches can be called a multi clutch transmission. For example, the Koenigsegg Jesko has a transmission with one clutch per gear, making up for a total of seven clutches. Dual clutch versus automatic transmission. The most significant difference between the two systems is that an automatic uses a torque converter to shift its own gears, allowing the driver no further control over the process, other than operating the accelerator and brake pedals. However, the dual clutch transmissions may operate automatically but there is an option to control them manually as well. Dual clutch transmissions offer several advantages. Number one, faster shifts. DCTs can shift gears more quickly compared to automatic transmissions. This rapid shifting contributes to a more responsive and sportier driving experience. More horsepower at wheels. Because of the quick and seamless gear changes, more power is efficiently delivered to the wheels. This can enhance overall performance, acceleration, and responsiveness. Improved fuel economy. The efficiency of DCTs can contribute to improved fuel economy compared to automatic. The optimized gear changes help the engine operate more efficiently under various driving conditions. Flexibility to operate manually or automatically. In DCTs, the drivers can choose to let the transmission shift gears automatically or they can take control and manually shift gears using paddle shifters or a gear lever. Disadvantages Number 1. Learning Curve The dual-clutch system operates differently from automatic or manual transmissions, and drivers may need some time to become accustomed to the nuances of the system. Potential for jerkiness In certain situations, such as at low speeds or during parking maneuvers, DCTs can exhibit a slight jerkiness. Expensive maintenance. If a dual clutch transmission needs to be replaced or repaired, it can be more expensive compared to automatic or manual. Some issues may require specialized knowledge and tools, and not all mechanics may be equipped to handle DCT repairs. 
This can potentially lead to higher maintenance costs and longer downtime for repairs. Multimode Manual Transmission, MMT. The multimode manual is a type of transmission used in certain Toyota vehicles. Unlike a manual transmission, where the driver manually operates the clutch pedal and gear stick, the MMT system incorporates automated technology to handle these functions electronically. It can operate in both automatic and manual modes, helps save fuel, improves the vehicle's performance, and ensures comfortable driving without having to switch gears constantly. The first MMT transmission was used in 2006 in Toyota Corolla E150 and RS E150. The gearbox lever features alphabets, in which the E is for automatic mode, for calm and comfortable driving. The ES is a sport mode that ensures faster shifting and better dynamics. The M is manual mode that allows the driver to decide which gear to engage and when. The driver shifts gear up or down by pushing the lever to the plus or minus position. Some versions feature paddle shifters for faster gear shifting. Cars with MMT transmission. Multimode manual transmission is available in the Toyota Igo, Yaris, Corolla, Corolla Verso, Mark X, and Toyota Aris. PDK transmission. PDK is a type of dual clutch transmission used by Porsche. But what exactly is PDK and how does it work? First developed in 2009, PDK is an advanced transmission that has revolutionized gear shifting in Porsche vehicles. PDK is a German acronym for Porsche, which translates to Porsche Double Clutch Transmission. As the name suggests, it's Porsche's version of a DCT and fundamentally operates in the same way as other DCTs on the market today. The basic principles of PDK are the same as most dual clutch gearboxes. They have two clutches and two gearboxes combined into one casing. One clutch operates on first, third, fifth, seventh, and reverse gears, with the second clutch managing second, fourth, and sixth gears. This dual clutch system allows for much faster gear changes, with one clutch engaging the next gear while the other is working the current gear. The interruption in power when shifting is almost non existent allowing shift times of less than 100 milliseconds. Yes, you heard that right. That's even faster than a manual transmission and allows the Porsche 718 Cayman to reach 100 km per hour in under 4.9 seconds, with a manual achieving the same sprint in just 5.3 seconds. This rapid and seamless transmission is great for not only speed, but also comfort. You won't even notice the ultra-smooth shifting when you leave the car in automatic. This allows you to enjoy the driving experience whether you're driving it in town, on the motorway, or flying around the hills. In comparison to a manual transmission, the Porsche PDK offers quicker acceleration response, along with greater versatility. It was originally developed for racing, so lightning-fast shift times and quick acceleration are part of its DNA. Drivers will have the ability to change gears manually, via steering wheel mounted paddle shifters and the option to drive in automatic mode for maximum comfort. The Porsche PDK transmission is available with seven or eight gears. Across the new Porsche lineup includes 718 Cayman and 718 Boxster, 911, Panamera, and Mackin. ECVT transmission. An ECVT is an electronically controlled continuously variable transmission. It is commonly used in hybrid vehicles. Unlike traditional transmissions with fixed gears, a CVT offers a continuous range of gear ratios, allowing the engine to operate more efficiently across various driving conditions. ECVTs such as those found on the Toyota Prius are significantly different from belt and chain driven CVDs. Several automakers use this technology, so it's important to understand the differences between belt and chain-driven ECVTs, which are closer to traditional step-type automatic transmissions in design. Instead of using a belt or chain connected to variable pulleys, 
The ECVT in hybrids like the Prius uses electric motor or generators to control the speeds of the planetary gear set. This allows the ECVT to continuously change the gear ratio, keeping the engine's RPM in the sweet spot. Do you know what's the difference between IVT, IMT, and DCT transmissions? Click this video and find out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you found this helpful, consider sharing it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these.